it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey freaks and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, you guys, we are in March. Welcome to the new month, you girls. Pisces. Oh, it's y'all. Ah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, people are perfect, baby. That's who we are, and I got a face card that don't decline. It's super sexy. Yeah, we get who we want and see. Can't say we fake. Oh, uh, bet you won't. Yes, we the punches. Yeah, we do it the best. Huh, punchy. Hey, ha, 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 ha. Y'all like that? Okay. Period. Happy birthday to all the Pisces, bitch. All right. I want to get this going because we don't have a lot of tea. We don't even have a sugar honey ice. Team. All we got is the docket because the girls was really quiet and I greatly appreciate y'all for that so we can get this in and out. But before we do, let me give a shout out to my friend and that is Amir. Hey, bitch. Amir, I don't know how you do it. This is like, what, your third or fourth time on the Hey Friend? Shout out to you, Amir, for having my post notifications on. I greatly appreciate it. Um, Girl, I ain't got to say too much. I fuck with you, you fuck with me, I know you fuck with me, so it is what it is. Hey, bitch. All right, I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, cause we ain't even got a whole lot, a whole lot of, we gonna just get in and out, okay? Y'all gonna be like, God damn, they just started and it's over? Hey, good, cause last month was a lot. Okay, let's get into this mess. First on the docket, we have Coca-Cola. Now, child, how you mad at us? Because you went on Instagram and pretending like you got kidnapped. Now, baby, let me tell you something. Stupid is and stupid does, okay? You wanted to tell us that we dumb for not getting your sense of humor. Bitch, what kind of sense of humor is that? That is just stupid. In these streets and did way more shit than me. Don't nobody give a fuck about what I'm hollering about. I don't. I don't. I will go get in my trunk and do that shit again. I didn't, y'all keep saying faking a kidnapping. Who faked the kidnapping? Who called the police and said I got kidnapped? I was on live. Y'all going to screen record and do too fucking much. A bitch couldn't even say it's a fucking joke because all the blogs had our posted it. I couldn't say. The I thought it was very funny in the moment. I'm not gonna lie. It was hilarious. Me and my friend was rolling. The only thing I could say. Bad when they opened the trunk, I should have showed them and said it's a joke, and I didn't. A fucking way, try me a river, tag Tyler Perry since I'm a good actor, since y'all believed it. Because nobody in my family or nobody I fuck with believed it, but y'all. So, like I said, I'm not about to keep apologizing. Bitch, apologize for the ones who was genuinely concerned. I'm not about to keep saying that shit. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? i just been childish literally my whole entire life. So... Yeah, should I have not been playing like that? You're right. I shouldn't have. But I did, and I can't go back and change it, and it's nothing we could do about it. And like I said, y'all are not God, and y'all are not going to sit here and crucify me because people have done way worse things. I don't see no humor, and I don't see the funniness. Because we knew that you got bought up out your head with that gun. We knew that you got jumped. So now we thinking, damn, they done got us? Now, yes, we know that people don't come to Instagram when they get kidnapped, but some of y'all folks is so delulu and stupid that maybe you really did think coming to Instagram would help you get caught and seen. I don't know. So she want to go onto the internet and tell folks, you know, call us bitches and dumb and we this and that and we need to get her sense of humor and it's not her fault that we fell for it and she wouldn't have prayed for any of us if we needed the help or whatever the case may be. Well, girl, we hope your ass do get in the trunk. <laughs> We hope they, we hope they do put you in a trunk. Now, 
Get wet. Wabi! <laughs> Go get her! <laughs> Go get her! Somebody get her! Put in a drum! And then let's see if you get on here and, and type her. <laughs> it's so stupid. Y'all ridiculous. Like, I just was really out here on that Carly or Carly, whatever her name is, that type shit. I never called the police. That's the difference. I never got on live and said, call the police. I said, call my mom. I seen the green latch. If I was really kidnapping, I would have pulled that motherfucker. But yeah, it was childish. And you do have to stop doing certain stuff because you do have a bigger following. But bitches just need to mind their fucking business, period. Like I said, if you don't understand my sense of humor, that's on you. On a serious note, to think that that is a funny joke is stupid. There are really people who are getting kidnapped. People are getting trafficked. And you find that funny? I, I just didn't know where the joke came in at. I'm, I'm still waiting. If somebody can tell me where the fun in that is, then I'm more than welcome to sit back and wait so I can kiki and ha ha. But until then, bitch, we are not kiki and ha ha. And the word on the curve, people say this why Top don't fuck with her now. Cause she just annoying, stupid, and lying. All she do is lie. She probably lied about everything. That's why you got your ass beat now. So if they stuck you in a trunk for real, leave us out of it. All I'm gonna say, is his power in the tongue. Better ask the other girl that was on Messy Monday who said some stuff. I mean, ain't going down memory lane. There's a lot of folks on Messy Monday who done said some stuff and it done came and spent they block. So bitch, you better get on the knees and start praying. And then I should have known she was a little, you know, cuckoo when her name was Arcola. Carly Russell. Does that, <laughs> does that, <laughs> y'all see her trying to go Arcola. Carly Rothoff. <laughs> Does it rhyme? Okay, fuck it. Y'all get it. Anyway, instead of putting on the trunk, we go stuff her in the trash can and ship her on out. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's kiki. Next game. Next to the docket, we have Carmen and Corey. Now, what did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? And Carmen, you, baby, Baby, I'm trying with all my might not to take this damn mallet and bust you across your motherfucking head. You had all of us sitting here waiting, hoping, praying, supporting, believing in your stupid ass. You dumb ass, motherfucking stupid ass. my heart because bitch you acted stupid you dumb ass fuck why the fuck did you go back now there was this video posted on youtube and as you can see in the background here looks like carmen was at a car show event with Corey in Miami the other night. Now you guys know how Corey is. He liked to match with his women. So people were stating, no, this was an old video. Well, no, this wasn't an old video because Corey posted a photo in that same jacket on his Instagram today. Then he quickly deleted it. Now all you have done is show this man he can cheat. He can wish death on you. He can threaten you with deporting you. Has it pissed on you? I mean, damn. We should be calling her toilet. Cause he done pissed this shit all over you and you just don't give a fuck. I can't lie to you. My wife and yeah, my best friend, my sister. I think I'm a white man. I saw that. Congratulations on that. I see it. I know that is. God is great though. He been married, man. They young. They was young. They grew up together. So they growing up together. Yeah. The devil. I've been praying and praying and praying. At first, I don't know that ain't never going back. <laughs> right, I was in there going in. I'm like, man, fuck you. And, you know, that's how I feel. But that ain't what God had planned. Yep. So I still, kept, I, I still praying to God because like, I ain't seen my kids in six months. Crazy. So I'm like, why do you want to see my kids? I was little kids. See that too. Bro, that was amazing. Like, After the prize, I'm like, okay, I'm let's go. I'm in Houston and I prayed Saturday night to God. Like, you know I, I was there for Thursday, Friday. And she wouldn't contact me, I'm, I'm blocked. Of course. I can't get because I'm mad. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just, I said, you know what? I'll give up, man. I'm done trying right. to put it in God's hands. Yeah. 
Tell me why five o'clock the next morning I got a Miss FaceTime call for us. So apparently, Karma just been these streets home. We're gonna just call a spade a spade. She been out in these streets home. We thought she was living her best life. But I guess she was just home. Cause while you was on Michi, while you was on B Dot, while you was on all these niggas, we thought you was just living your life and being free and finding yourself. But you was just home cause you was with Corey. You just took your happy ass on Queen and we all like, yes, yes, girl power. We love it. We're here. Yes. Girl, you fooled all of us. So then after we see that, Corman come back and she say it's Bullshit. Hey, um, I don't got energy for this. But let me start out by just saying, like, I feel like every time when, like, I take, like, two steps forward, it's like I have to take three back just to be on here and, like, explain myself. But at the same time, I feel like I don't need to explain myself. Let's please keep in mind, this man's still the father of my kids, regardless. Every time y'all heard me saying, like, oh, will you go back to your ex or will you talk to your ex and this and the third, like, it's not about that. You know what I mean? It's not about, if y'all see me in the room with him, it's like, oh, we just, I love you, love you again, or we are back, cool. Like, me and Corey had conversations privately before we was fucking even spotted publicly. But the conversation was more so of stand, like, learning and understanding where we stand with each other and more so of, like, the damage that was caused in all these five months. Do I rather just be mature or just be cordial with the father of my kids instead of, you know, holding grudges or have hate or, being like, I can't even stand this man or I just need, like, a third person in between so he can see the kids or whatever? Absolutely not. Like, I would rather to just be cordial with this man knowing that if anything happened with the kids, that's the person I have to call. But at the end of the day, I am the type of person that, like, I don't hold grudges, you know what I mean? And like, I don't like to hold hate. Like I, like, I feel like hate is a strong word. So when I do say I hate you, it's like, I hate you. Like this was the person that I was with for seven years. For two, I still have love for this man, regardless of what has been going on. I'm, I always hold love for him. Ah, oh, shut your ass up. Shut up. We don't want to hear a motherfucking thing. Talk about some damn weird together. Shut the fuck up! Then after she say that, and she say, you know, she's not with Corey, Corey posted them. I met my wife. We went to church. Oh, why everybody wanna go to fucking church when now they feel like they gotta prove that they love somebody? Fuck you! Shut up and go to damn church! Now it's, oh, I go to church. We pray. We did. We God. We together. She ain't tired of hearing the same love song. Same love song every time. We cheated last time. Church, I found myself. I need my church. I need my wife. Went out, got another girl. I left with the church. I'm in love. I need my wife. Need my love. Do it again. Count church. I'm in love. I need my wife. I need my wife. Need my wife. Bitch, <laughs> play me another song. Tired of that shit being on repeat. Then here come Michi kissing on. I said, Well, goddamn, Michi kissing on. But I thought they just went to church. He said, Okay, you kissing on. But guess what? He in the hotel! You mean to tell me that man went to the hotel? At this point, Michi, run. This woman ain't leaving that man alone. She's not leaving him alone. She's not. Corey ain't leaving her alone. This is what they do. This is who they are. They just gonna be a toxic couple until they old and probably still toxic then. Leave, get up out that situation. I think that, get out, get out. Let Corey have him. Let Corey have him. Let them have each other. Get out. And to be honest, they might all really be in a big open ass relationship. Anyway, this might just all be a damn reality TV, YouTube skit. And they all know what the fuck going on. And they just playing in everybody's faces. And they want to cover it up. But the shit really real. They really do be toxic and fucking and cheating on each other. But then they turn it into a storyline trying to cover up they bullshit. So right now, we don't know what's going on. We ain't heard from Corey been saying he love her. That's his girl and child. Corey is meant to be known. They fucking with each other. Carmen trying to play the old independent, I'm strong, women power type T. But baby, 
your veil is rising. We starting to see you ain't as strong as you try to make the women think you is. Might wanna go and throw that, throw that out the window and let these girls know you, you human and you went back to your baby daddy. If it ain't about me, let's get keen. Let's get Next one, okay, we have Jania and Dante Murray. Is that how you say his name? Whatever. But the gag is, people think that they done broke up again. Now, the way they say that is because if you go look at both of their Instagrams, they unfollow each other. But the last time they did this, wasn't it when he, um, she went out with the girls. It was girl night, and she had this nice, seductive, sexy outfit on, and he got, you know, real jealous or whatever case may be. I don't know, child. He broke up with her and said she do too much, and she be going out and doing that and partying and stuff. And child, then she went back to him, and then they break up another time. Like, they done broke up like twice, right? They probably just arguing again over something that she ain't doing that he don't like. You know, she has, girl. Girl, let me hush, child. Girl. Girl, he just mad, girl. He mad and he done left for Now she on Twitter talking about some, um, the worst day of my life and all I need is my children and I need to find me some hobbies to go out. You know, she always bring everything to the internet. So she upset and she sad and she like, oh, I'm just so hurt. I'm so sad. I need to do stuff. I need to go to the club and blah, 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 blah. Girl, if you know you're going to go back to that man, don't come telling us nothing. Don't tell us you sad and upset. You ain't really telling us. You just want him to see it because he probably ain't texting you back and saying nothing to you. So now you want him to see it on social media so he can see everybody say, ooh, girl, move on and do this and whoop, whoop, and get up. Girl, hey, get the man left. He left, girl. Go knock on the door. Text him, call him, something, because you're going to go back anyway. Let me hush. I be running back to child. He's an NBA player. <laughs> I be running back to girl. Go on and get your man, girl. She'll put me in, coach. <laughs> Go get your man, girl. Go get, <laughs> Go get your man, child. That man, that man. Go get your man, girl. Go get your man. We ain't got a house game today. <laughs> Let me go sit courtside. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope they, I hope they can work it out. Uh, she upset, she said, worst day of her life, child, and he ain't said shit. <laughs> I guess his life good. God, that, that gotta hurt. <laughs> I ain't laughing at her. I'm just, oh, that's just so sad. She always going through some of these men. Oh, that's so ugly. Mm. Oh well, well, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's get it. Let's get Next to the docket, we have CJ Kaku and Royalty. This is another damn couple that get on my damn nerves. I just can't, ooh, I can't stand them. Hey, they, how long they been broken up? Ain't she fucked like six other niggas and he done fucked three other bitches? Like, what the fuck? Why little white help ain't got him shitting up somewhere? Like, get out. Stir the pot and uh, put him in a trance because he doing too much. We tired of hearing him. Tell him to sing. Please. Anyway, they go going to court because they trying to have custody battle over the children or something like that. I just got out of court. Guess who was waiting? Guess who was waiting on me? Charlene and her mom and her posse waiting on me, cursing me out right in front of the court. I was going to record it, but I said, nah. My lawyer kept saying, just keep walking, just keep walking. Well, I always got to be the bigger person, man. Anyway, going back to get my kids. Another day. More money down the drain. Still haven't ended the case. I'm just starting to think they just like to see me. Because I don't, I don't get it. There ain't no way this shouldn't have been over. Starting to think they got something they just want to see. So, that was just crazy, man. Her and her mama standing out the court, cussing me out, looking dumb as hell. I'm just laughing, like, what? What'd you say? Am I filming today? I don't know. What would you do after you just left trial? Trial ain't nothing you do every day. But at least when I leave trial, I'm leaving in a Lamborghini. Whether you rich or poor, you always gonna have problems. 
but how you pull up to your problems, yeah, that's what matters. Her mama don't like him, and his mama don't like royalty new man who, I guess, allegedly been arrested and convicted felon for drugs and stuff like that. Because apparently, them being with CJ, they done got hurt several times. Then he pushed one, say this, and call him stupid. Why the hell? Is your mama ain't saying shit about what you doing with the children. Get mama over there. Mama CJ. Why y'all parents and y'all shit? Ain't y'all like 45? Why y'all mamas talking? Y'all, they need to sit down somewhere. Where they mans is at? So after court, Royalty's mom posted, line your A off in court. Oh my God, I'm so broke. All of my meals are free. In any restaurant I walk in, I have no money. Like you said, it's better driving off in a Lambo. So tell on yourselves without telling on yourself. Two hours of lies. Then she states, then you said you didn't tell Daya to use curse words in a video, but said you told her to say whatever comes to her mind. And she states, I'm so scared of Mr. Suave. Now, if you guys don't know who Mr. Suave is, that is Rico, which is royalty's male friend. I'm, I'm just, I want to touch, touch bases on what's going on in the YouTube streets um, about Mr. Damon Ar Arnett, I want to say. Um, now don't get me wrong. I'm not here to bash anybody. As you all know, I struggled with those same type of demons for years back in the day. Okay. Let me get that clear back in the day. Thank God. God brought me over that, that hump, that evil hump. Um, and I just want to say it's, it's not easy. And I understand it's not easy for him to get over what he's getting old, doing. Um, he went from it. Well, I can't even say allegedly because it's in the news, the, you know, and not no YouTube news. I'm talking about Sports Illustrated and all those channels. Um, we, I never switched up like that. Well, I did from weed to. So I'm not saying he, that he's did that around it. I'm not saying because I don't know. I do not know. Um, but I'm saying, I hope that he wasn't around the children like that. And the babies, they don't know any better. Like you said, they are innocent, so they don't know any better, the twins. Um, but the older ones, again, the older ones, they can tell probably more so what's going on than the, than the baby. No, Mama can. Realty did go on to Instagram and state, this message is for the other side and you know who you are. First of all, my kids is my business. It's been over a year and y'all continue to bash and harass and lie on my family all because of CJ. CJ has paid y'all to do so, which is sad. Instead of tearing down my family, use y'all energy to help him heal. At the end of the day, the twins will always connect us. Y'all speak evil on us every chance you get and don't even know us. And Realty and her children never done anything to you guys or speak on you. My children deserve to live a peaceful life. And we will always stand together. I promise you I'm coming for you the legal way. When this custody case is over so y'all can explain to the courts what my family has done to hurt each and every one of you. You know what, Kadeen? I got, you know what, that woman, she's she she's a bitter, bitter, bitter person. So even when I don't speak on them, on her, on them or anything over there, they constantly keep me in their mouth. So whether I do or I don't speak on that side, they constantly have me in their mouths. So they they they, they can't use that as an excuse. No. Like everybody just shut up. Just shut up. Let <sighs> they got me tired. Alright, I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck them. Fuck that. How the children doing? The children good? God damn, what the children gotta say? If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next one, okay, we have Nene Mills. Now, child, this is a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, and I'm gagging because, baby, I'm gagging. <laughs> I'm gagging. So, 
there's this guy named Lil Rod. And I thought, first I'm like, Rod, wait, what the fuck going on? But it's a guy named Lil Rod. He produced this song, right, or whatever the case may be. He was friends with Diddy. Child, he done made a lawsuit against Diddy saying that, you know, Diddy done made him do a whole lot, a whole lot of everything. I mean, the same shit Cassie was saying, he said. So the little dude that came out and he said that, uh, Diddy made him watch videos and one of the videos was Steve J having sex with somebody. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. And so Diddy has just been hit with another lawsuit. And this one is by a producer on his latest album. Uh, let's get into it. Diddy was sued in federal court today by a producer on his most recent album by the name of Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod. He says that for more than a year, he was threatened by Diddy. He was essay actually harassed, plowed with illegal substances and all of the above. And I find it also nefarious and clearly egregious. Please pay attention. Jones says that from September of 2022 and November of 2023 that he lived with and traveled with Diddy and he recorded hours of video and audio for not only Diddy but his staff and others engaging in serious illegal activity. This all sounds real crazy. What kind of illegal activity were they engaging in? This man is clearly spilling all of the tea. Uh, please pay attention. Also, Jones also alleges that Diddy would have him go out and procure SEX workers. He also says that Diddy would force him uh, to have unwelcomed acts with these people and that he also would lace alcoholic beverages and give them to people who came to his home for parties. And I find that extremely interesting because you see, Mark Curry, who used to be a writer for Bad Boys, well, he said the same thing. Please pay attention. And this bottle, we used to go to the, when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they be they be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they've been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. So we already knew what the drill was. You just don't mess with them bottles, right? Then all of the girls is in the club after a while. They all running, look, opening up their mouth like little birds. They just run around just popping pills in their mouth. The lawsuit says that they supposedly have screenshots of gatherings at Diddy's home where they had underage girls, also SEX workers, and uh, says that these people were giving things that were laced with illegal substances, unbeknownst to them, of course, and at Diddy's direction. Diddy's lawyer, Sean Holly, says that Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. He also says that his reckless name dropping about events that clearly never happened is nothing more than a shameless attempt to garner headlines. He also says they have indisputable and overwhelming evidence to prove that all of the claims are lies and says that when they tried to reach out to his attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, well, they got no response. He's completely ignoring them and hasn't returned to any of their calls. Uh, so with that said, I guess they'll see him in court. This is all getting real messy and more problems continue to arise for Diddy. I can't say that he didn't bring this all on himself, uh, but it's going to get even worse and i told you all months ago i said wait until the men start coming out and so he done brought up steve J. he done brought up meat meals said meat meals was gay or remember diddy used to call him daddy and stuff and they was in the pool they party you know hold on a whole lot of so child then he said uh chris brown he said uh what that what else he said uh uh usher uh, cuban good and junior i'm just like wait a mix oh the fuck down who what what? So then, uh, academics got hopes of, you know, all the tea that was going on. Y'all know academics is messy. So child academics messy ass. He done went on there. And he done did this. It, it did not say Meek Mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the fuck? I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper. Five. That's redacted. Look, five. He's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Yo, Meek. We were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit. But if you don't, you've been tweeting about, every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. This nigga is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. What the fuck? Meek! So when he called out Meek Mills because he recognized his dead feeling rapper, so and so, so and so, child, you know the girls went to mingling. Have y'all been looking at Meek Mills' Twitter? Because he's been losing it all day. 
So basically, producer Lil Rod is accusing P. Diddy of sexual assault. And in the legal documents, it's alleged that Meek Mill had a physically intimate relationship with Mr. Sean Diddy Combs. So um, I guess he found out a little earlier today and he's just been on Twitter tweeting up a storm. Now, it's a whole bunch of incoherent Philly babble, but I did pull a few highlights and we're just going to read them together. So a lot of this rant is basically him beefing with DJ Academics because Academics was on his live stream reading through the court documents and he went viral for reading the Meek Mill part. So basically it says, Academics, an alcoholic, fully powered by the white man. Who you think posting that on every website? They be so mad. They can't stop. It's few groups. LOL. He's an alcoholic with no life talking to kids on a computer. Normal kids watch Kai, Aiden, Wallow, Gilly. See, he's using these ellipses when he should be using commas. But again, context clues. You can figure it out. You a sick old black man with no life. Achievements trying to destroy black men because you envy us as men. I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ass molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would, uh, what's a what? No man or what would ever approach me about gay activity and the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog like they know, like they know I'm coming, lol. And somebody send me the actual lawsuit. These blogs making y'all stupid day for day. Um, I don't understand why he's on Twitter asking randoms to send him a link to a lawsuit when he has a lawyer. And when the girls went to mingling, child, they saw that Meek Mills was following a popular gay porno page. So folks thought it was a lie, thought the screen recording was fake. Child, they wouldn't follow the page. They see Meek Mills is really following the page. So then Meek Mills tries to go and unfollow the page, whatever the case may be. And everybody's like, oh, no, nah, baby, it's too late. So then he come out saying what he's saying and that he mad at academics. I'm like, why the fuck you want to fight academics, honey? Yo, I is Rod. Rod, the one that don't put you in the mix. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, these niggas is gay. Meek got online and said, send me his address. I'm pulling up to his house to shoot a music video and I'm gonna piss on his steps. I don't take those words lightly. Meek, you, matter of fact, they're invited to my house. You, don't come with nobody else. Anybody else on my property will handle a calling. You're allowed. You come on my property and whatever you think you finna do, don't do when I ain't here. Do it when I'm here. But I know I know the gangster's trick with this. You know what the gangster's trick is? Yo, he, yo, he's here to trick the black man. This is why I can't respect you gangster Y'all like, yo, yo, over time, y'all, whole gangster image eroded. You see, once we met like King Vaughn and shit like that, we realized that's what a real gangster is. Anytime he had problems, he handled it. N like you, you always got an excuse. Yo, I can't wait to see 6 9 I'm gonna make an example. You see 6 9 yo, he the police, he trying to trick me off the streets. N which is it? Are you an activist, you a killer. You start tweeting all that shit about me just because you ain't think I was gonna say? My address is public. It's on Google. When are you gonna pull up? And don't pull up and be like, hey, I'm pissing on his mailbox, y'all. But the only time you should be taking out your freak millies for when you whip my Diddy, nigga trying to sell that whack ass mixtape, that EP trying to get at me. Nigga, they said you was gay. They said you was fucking Diddy. You trying to sell your whack ass EP getting at me? Boy, my address on Google, nigga. Don't, don't, don't show up to my crib and peel my steps in. We ain't playing ding dong ditch, nigga. If you want to come meet me, nigga, you got my address. Don't send a goon. Don't come yourself. Don't tell me a governor told you stop. I'm here, nigga. I'm here. I'm here now. I'm be here tomorrow. I'm be here every day. Tell me when you get back. Don't do none of that other bullshit. Stand on the gangster murder shit you was on. I've been waiting for a nigga like you. I didn't spend all this bread on t because I knew niggas like you was going to play with me. So let's get it like that. We let's, let's not take nothing back, nigga. You was on murder shit. I need you to be on it. Man, I'm telling yo, if me gang snitch on me, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with rap. I swear, I promise you. Boy send the police to my house told my what's his addy. Look, I promise you, look, look. Look, look. police. The sent police to my crib, my all that gangster shit is talking, sent police to my crib, gang. All that gangster shit, like he's the biggest killer. The governor calling him, he sent police to my crib. I swear. Bro, this speak, you a whole snitch, my Like, this is crazy. If you was on whatever shit, you got my address. Why are you over here tweeting the shit?
Bro, this really got police at my crib. This is what your gangsterism had to do. If you was gonna do anything, that's what I'm saying, you a Me and you could've catch a fade anything, Now I'm about to walk outside my own house with my hands up because of Meek Mill. Congratulations, y'all gangster rapper finally won. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. The internet went into a frenzy. They just start pulling up old pictures and videos. I'm like, oh, I know that man is hurt. Meek, because you got your ass beat in tennis. You got your ass beat. Keep going. Count out loud. This the wrong time, Count out loud. 30. Can't, huh? 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42. Keep going. Keep going. 7, 8, 9. One, two, keep going, keep going. Whatever they saying he did, he did that shit. Bro, I remember a time when Meek Mills tweeted the D is good as hell, and we were just all like, okay, well, I don't know, the D could mean a lot of things, right? Then this video came out, and Diddy was calling him a daddy, and he was just like, all right, well, I guess, yeah, I'm your daddy. Crazy part is y'all was screaming, free Meek, free Meek, free Meek Mills, free Meek Mills, yeah, baby. Well, now he free. He outside. He out the closet. <laughs> Don't agree with me because only gay couples take pictures like this. <laughs> Who's the top? This boy Rod done shook the table, y'all. I don't know what's going on. This Diddy situation, this Meek Mill situation, this Rod situation. All of this is a lot. Oh, God. This ugly. This is really ugly. All right. Well, if it ain't about me. They are coming for Dick D. <laughs> Next case! Oh! Alright, you guys, that's all I have for Missy Monday. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Ooh, the girls is really not outside like that, but that's good. Great. Let me go edit this and get us going. I love y'all. Continue to see me the mess. Always stay messy, and I will see you next Monday. Next case! Messy Monday! Monday! It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on.